Ashes Lie Still, um, predominantly the lyrics are about the passing of my father, um, without getting too specific about all the metaphors that are used within it. Essentially, Ashes Lie Still means that he died, he passed away, and he's just turned 60, so to me now it was, you know, he wasn't old enough, so. Um, you know, we, as well as being COVID, we couldn't be, you couldn't have a good send off. His funeral was, was low attended and um, the ashes were just, we, we didn't do anything with the ashes for, still haven't done anything in the ashes. So to me, it was like, just ashes lie still, just kind of means that I wasn't able to give him the proper funeral he wanted. There was no wake and the ashes was just kind of sat there with nothing. So basically that's what it's about. Yeah, it's an emotional song. I, I cried the first time I recorded the demo for that one. <laughs> Fucking yeah. deep. It's deep. <laughs> Pretty deep. Yeah. I think, I mean, the music was written quite early on within the COVID kind of thing. So it would have been just as we had a pass away anyway. So maybe the song itself was, it had that feel to it already. And so when it came to time for us to do, you know, start putting lyrics down and like coming up with something, it was fairly easy for me to attach myself to the song and it was easy for me to get the things out that I wanted to say specifically with that song just because the way it sounds, you know, it's, it's quite a dark song, it's slow and it's, it's quite brooding. So, you know, they just came very naturally and it, you know, they both work together well within the context of what they are. <laughs> Shadows in Time, the lyrics are basically about getting rid of negative people, uh, whether that's negative people in our lives, negative people in our career. It's about breaking those shackles and freeing ourselves, basically. Um, obviously, you know, we've, we've had a bit of a rough two years, haven't we? Like, yeah. within the band and within our own lives. Um, but we've come out of it better and stronger. I um, had an incident that was uh, with uh, someone who was supposed to be a family member, and that was, uh, yeah, pretty bad. So I, like, I got assaulted by someone, and um, it was about cutting them off as well. Like, that was part of that. So, and then obviously, people in and around the band and our career and the scene and stuff like that. And just moving on, moving on to better and bigger things like in life and in the band. And um, what's the lyric? Watching them fall as we start to climb yeah. shadows in time, because yeah. that's what they are. They're nothing but shadows in time, in the history of our lives and our band. Ties of Glass, again, is about, is about things like addiction and stuff like, because I've, well, we've all kind of dealt with addiction, haven't we? Um, but I've come out of, I've seen the bottom and I've come out the other side and I feel like I'm a much better person, I'm healthier, yeah. like I'm way more pleasant to be around, so that's nice. Um, so it's about that, it's about crawling through broken glass to get to where we are now, because it's... We, know, we all had, had a struggle, haven't we? <laughs> each one of us had our own individual kind of struggles at a certain point of time, and each time we've come out the other side, so again, yeah. it's all about that. Yeah, stronger and better than we've ever been. Like, I mean, now, as, as the band sits now, I think, I think we're better than we've ever oh, been. Yeah. Like, we're, better, we're better songwriters, we're better performers. Personalities. Personalities, we're much better. <laughs> so, I, I think we're getting old. Yeah, we're getting old. <laughs> we're getting soft in our old age, but um, nah, like we've, yeah, that's what it's about. It's about crawling through the shit yeah. to get to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, so to speak. The song's pretty epic. It's quite a mid-paced song, so it needed something that was... I mean, he's always about the hooks anyway, and 
I think you had the hook first, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. The hook was written first. Yeah. Um, and then that's usually how I work when I'm yeah. when I'm writing lyrics. I'll usually well, I, I write in reverse. So usually when I'm writing lyrics, I'll start with the very last line in say the verse or the chorus because I always like to because I. I listen to a lot of rap and hip hop and stuff, and like I noticed that like good rappers and good MCs always end on a banging line, yeah. and um, I like to do that in ingested songs. So like whenever you hear a song that's lyrics that I've written, the end line of every verse, whew, it'll be a killer. And then so I'll start with that line, and then I'll work my way backwards, and that's how I write like verses and choruses. Um, but I got. I, I got that as soon as as soon as they sent the demo with the song over. We knew it was going to be a big tune. Yeah, I knew yeah. it was going to be a big tune, so I needed a big a big hook for it. Yeah. And um, yeah, that was the first part that that I wrote, and then all the rest just as soon as I yeah. got that hook down, I knew exactly where I wanted to go with the song lyrically and pattern wise, and it all just fell into place. It was so easy. Yeah. <laughs> navigate this one. <laughs> <laughs> so from hollow words essentially is the people around you, you know, family members at all, friends past and present, um, saying they're going to do something for so long and saying they'll, they'll do it and keep doing it and then doing the same thing that they were doing beforehand without any changes. So essentially, you know, Everything they're saying is hollow, it's a hollow word. You, you've started hollow already, I know you're not going to go through with it. Um, so it's kind of based around that kind of, that kind of sentiment. Um, you know, the main hook is fuck your hollow words. It's just like, well, I don't believe you because you've said this before and you'll say it again, you'll do the same thing over and over again. And it's about all those people that do that kind of thing and then cutting them away. You know, you've got to cut those people away because they're nothing but dead weight. Yeah. Dead weight. Left to sink. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more than a broken link, pal. Yep. So yeah, uh, that kind of stuff, man. You're not gonna get any anyone specific, but everyone's got those people in their lives, and you'll notice if you're friends with us how small our our circle is nowadays. Because you know, especially us three, that we this is who we are, and like we don't let a lot of people in because you're used to these kind of people. So that's kind of where it is. All I've lost again is about addiction um, and like the pitfalls and what what you stand to lose. And like I said before, like we've all dealt with it, and I and I know a lot of people deal with it. Like and it was about basically getting to a point where I I lost everything. Absolutely lost everything. Lost my band lost my family, everything. And it was all because of addiction. And I, I hit the point where you have to make a choice. Like, I, cause I can, I can either carry on down the road that I was on and who knows where that would have led. Um, or you pick yourself up, you sort yourself out and you, you prove it. You prove you get back to that, where you need to be. Yeah, you prove that you know that you you are you are worth saving that you do have value even though like you know at the time you might you you yourself might not think that you do but you do and I, and that song's about that really it's about knowing that you're not alone like people there's loads of people that deal with it and people will want to help you you have to let them help you um and it took me a while to realise that. But again, here we are now. We're all, we're all good. We're all, we're all clean. We're all great. So, and the future's looking so bright. Yeah. And yeah, it's about that. It's about loss and addiction. Yeah.